Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how you can scale your numerical data with ML.NET. First of all, let's go over why you want to scale your data in the first place. So I'm going to look at my data and I'm using the housing data set here. And let's look at this row I have highlighted and look at some of the numbers here. So we have a 3000 for total rooms. But if we look at the median income, it's just three. So this might be in terms of thousands or tens of thousands or something like that. But as you can see, three is a thousand times less than 3000. So what might happen with the machine learning algorithm was it, it might take this column of total rooms, it might give it more weight than the other columns, especially this median income column, just because it's that much bigger. And what the reality is for this data set is that perhaps the median income might have a greater relationship on the median house value that we're trying to predict, but it won't do that if it gives it more weight on the total rooms. So to overcome that, we can scale our data. And when we scale our data, we can change all the numerical values between zero and one. That way it'll, it won't give it any weight depending on how big the numbers is and it'll just do on the relationships between the data and how well it predicts on the, the label. So back in Visual Studio here, I have a console project ready and I already have ML.NET installed version 1.3.1. And I have the data set and I have the input schema as well as the output schema classes already done. So to get started, we're going to create a context and I'm going to read the data from the file here. And then I'm going to get a collection of columns, kind of similar to getting the features, but I want to get the columns that we're going to use for kind of the input for our scaling here. To do that, we do data that's schema and we'll use link to do a select just to, to get the column name. And then I want to filter these out where it's not the, the label. Or if it's the ocean proximity. Because I don't I don't want the label, I don't need to scale that, and I don't need the ocean proximity because it's a categorical. And remember, the label and ocean proximity doesn't match what comes in here and matches what's in our input schema here. So I have median house value that it reads, but I'm renaming it to the label and then the ocean proximity. After that, I'm going to select again. This time for each of these items, I'm getting a new input output column pair. And I just do the same column name for each of the input and output column names. And that I'll just set that to an array. And to scale our data, we do the context that transforms. And then we do normalize. I'm doing normalize min and max, but you see there are quite a few scaling methods here. I just put in those columns and then I'll call fit on that for my data and I'll go ahead and transform it as well. So now that I have my scaled data, now to kind of give a bit of a look at it, we'll look at the preview. And actually, I'm just going to run a breakpoint here and see what this looks like. Just to show you what the data looks like once it's been scaled. There we go. And we will step over that. Let's look at the row view. Let's look at the first row. So you can see we have, since we named it, the input and output the same, we're going to get double here. So that's the original, and this is a scaled. 
and you see each of the scaled items are between 0 and 1. Alright, so now that we did that, we can continue on with the rest of our machine learning pipeline. So first, I want to get the features. I need to be strings instead of input output column pairs, so I can't use this columns variable again. But what I can do is from there I can select and just get the output column name and set it to an array. And now to do my pipeline, I'm going to featureize the text here. and get the ocean proximity. I'll append on a concatenate. I'll put a features and I'll send in the features variable for that. And then I'll concatenate again. Still I'll put in features and I'll send in that this text column that we created before. And then I'm going to use the regression trainer. I'll do the Poisson regression. And since we have label column and a features column, we can just leave the defaults for the constructor there. All right, so we have our pipeline. Now we can create our model by fitting on it. And we're not just going to do data, we're going to do our scale data. And then we can create a prediction engine, pass in the model. Now we can create a prediction from the prediction engine. And I'll just paste in an example here. Just some random, kind of random values. And then with our prediction, I can write out what we get there. Predict the house value. And I'll do a console read line so it stays up. All right, so let's run this and see what we get. All right, so with that data, we get a predicted house value of $259,000. All right, I think I'll end things there just to kind of show you how you can use the transform to scale your numerical data, mainly just remember that all these transform the numerical data between zero and one. So they don't have that orders of magnitude difference between one column and another column. All right, thanks everyone, and I'll see y'all next time.